In this video, we'll be showing you how to configure Couchbase Server for the first time. Once Couchbase is installed and started, point your browser at port 8091 on the server machine. In our case, it's the local machine. Since we're starting from scratch, we'll select Set up new cluster. First, we'll need to give the cluster a name and specify the administrator credentials for managing the cluster. Later on, you can create users with more limited permissions. Make sure that you have the appropriate Couchbase version and licenses for your intended use. If you're setting up a cluster to try out Couchbase, you could just click Finish with Defaults to configure the cluster with the default services and storage quotas. If instead you need to customize these settings, click Configure. Since we don't have any specialized requirements, we'll use the default values. We now have an operational Couchbase server with one node running the data, index, search, and query services. For scaling and reliability, it is possible to add additional nodes to the cluster and to have different nodes running different services, but for the moment we'll stick with a single node. The administrative interface has a straightforward organization. Top-level navigation is on the left, and when available, sub-navigation runs along the top. Common actions have links in the upper right. The next step is to get some data into Couchbase. There are several ways to import data, but the quickest way is to load one of the sample data sets. If we click on Settings, then select Sample Buckets, we have the option to add any of three sample data sets. In Couchbase, the term bucket describes a container holding JSON documents, each with a unique key. Each sample data set would go in its own bucket. We'll add the beer sample and travel sample buckets. Now, if we go to the Buckets panel, we can see that the buckets are available. Click anywhere on the buckets row to see details about that bucket. You can also view a list of JSON documents in the bucket by clicking the Documents link. Click any of the Edit buttons to see the corresponding document in detail. You can then edit the document if you wish, or use the Documents link in the title banner to return to the list of documents. New buckets can be created with a link in the upper right. See the documentation for detail on the types of buckets and other settings. Congratulations! You now have a single node Couchbase cluster. From here, you can explore many other topics such as loading your own data, accessing data via SDKs, scaling your cluster for performance and reliability, and querying your data using Nickel or Full Text Search.